with. But here it is. I, 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 I like what they do in verse 4. It says, now, now here's the reality. They are in the leper camp, really. Famines in the land. Ain't nothing to eat. They say, well, now, you know what? Mm, uh, we don't have nothing right here. <laughs> and if we stay right here, you know we're going to die. I don't know who the committed chairperson was, but I can imagine. Uh, let, let the record state if we stay here. Brother Abraham, what you think? We're going to die. Now, there's famine in the city. If we go over there, what are we going to do? Brother John, we going to die. Hmm. So, that's a guarantee here. That's a guarantee here. Well, just maybe. Somebody say, just maybe. Just maybe. We can go over to the enemy's camp. And maybe it's the day for them to have mercy on somebody. Because see, let me tell the truth. I know some folks like that. Some of them are some of the hardest folks in the world. But if you catch them on the right day, anybody know some folks like that? If you catch them on the right day, they'll have a little mercy on you. Now, don't catch them on the wrong day. But if you catch them on the right day, they'll have just a little, maybe if we go over to the enemy's camp, they, they, they'll, they'll do, they'll have a little mercy on But here's what I like about them, because if you're on the road to recovery, at least they committed themselves to do something. If you do nothing, nothing will happen, but they committed themselves to do something. And in this whole keep calm movement, if we're going to recover our priority areas, we need to keep calm and do something. Tell your neighbor, keep calm and do something. Tell one more person, point at them with your church finger and tell them, keep calm and do something. You gotta do something. Maybe if you're trying to recover your finance, maybe you need to get your holy scissors and cut up that MasterCard, Visa, American Express that you keep promising you're going to tear it up, but you keep putting those shoes. Oh, oh. They got to sell at Dillard's. You done been the first one that knocked down the door and the mannequin. Oh, that's why some of y'all laughing. You know I'm preaching to y'all. Young people, if you didn't do as well as you wanted to do at the end of last school year, let me tell you something, you're going to have to do something else then. Y'all know what? Because see, let me tell you something. I told them this morning at 7.30, young folk nowadays don't even like to go outside. <laughs> when we grew up, we loved to go outside. Now, there were certain times you had to go outside. How many of you know what I'm talking about? When grown folks was having grown folk conversation, you had to go outside. It'd be 115 degrees, you better thank God for a water hose. And Lord, don't get in trouble and can't go outside. And then your friend come knock on the door. Can Joseph come outside? No, he's in trouble. They don't announce it to the whole community. Joseph's in trouble. He can't come outside. To How many folk grew up that way? But young people, we got to do a little bit. We're going to have to study some more. Even if you got a phone, put some books on the phone. You can get some books. And the, how many parents know what I'm talking about? But you got to do something else. If you're trying to get your health back, at least put your feet on the floor and start walking every now and then. But you've got to do something. Put your hand on yourself and say, Self, I've got to do something. Now say it one more time and say it like you mean it. Self, I've got to do something. Now how many folk are really going to do something to get your priorities back on the lifeline? 